Chapter 511, Hidden Power In the new base in Upper City District, Wu Chengaiu found that he was really not helpful thereafter Long Yu Bai was beaten back. So, he took Wu Yuling and his subordinates, and sent the supplies that he found back to his base, then started distributing those supplies to the commoners in the poor areas in his base. With the help of Yang Zhao's energy nucleus, Xiao Yunlong had upgraded to level 7. So now, Wu Cheng Ayu and Zhu Xiyui put him in Yang Zhao's position and let him manage the part of the base which used to be under Yang Zhao's administration. After that, Wu Cheng Ayu suddenly became a chief who had no deputy chief under his command. He didn't mind though, as he still had Xiao liking, Mali, and Li Shan and the others following him around. Those people were at level 5, but were all pretty capable. As for Meng Yui, eh? Hey, you're going to help Yun Long? Are you still mad at me? Wu Cheng Ai sat in his office behind his desk as he looked at Meng Yui with surprise, who was standing before the desk. Meng Yui looked at him. Her eyes still contained grievance, but the obsession she had toward Wu Cheng Ai seemed to be mostly gone. Now, the look in her eyes was much more frank. Perhaps, she had thought things through during the past days, added with the fact that Xiao Yunlong had been trying to divert her attention through all sorts of means recently. That was probably why she wanted to help Xiao Yunlong now. Yunlong has just taken over the work over there. He must need help with many things. So, I want to go there and help him. She looked at Wu Cheng Ayu and said, Um, that's good. If you want to go, I'll surely agree. As Meng Yu applied for a job transfer willingly, Wu Cheng Ai sighed in relief. Meng Yu had stopped avoiding him, meaning that she might not be angry at him anymore. After he signed his name on Meng Yu job transfer application, she left. But not long after that, someone else came to visit Wu Cheng Ai In surprise, Wu Cheng Ai watched the tall and slim pretty lady walk straight into his office and asked, Miss Yan, what brings you here? The visitor was none other than Yan Feining a deputy chief under Zhu Xiyui's command. Her beautiful face was wearing a generous smile as she responded, Chief Wu, am I not welcomed? Wu Cheng Ayu offered her a seat on the couch, then poured her a glass of water and smiled at her, of course you are, it's an honor of this office that you came. Seeing a stranger come in, Wu Yu Ling immediately ran to Wu Cheng Ayu and held his leg. Is little Ling Ling still so afraid of strangers? Yan Feina looked at Wu Yuling who hung herself on her father's leg and said smilingly, Wu Cheng Ai Wu bent over and scooped Wu Yuling up with one hand as he picked up the glass with the other. Then, he walked to Yan Feina and put the glass of water on the table before her. She's much better now. Before, she'd never run to me by herself. She'd only hide under the table. Wu Cheng Ai Wu sat on the other couch and said, I see. Have thought about finding her a mother? You're a man. It's more or less inconvenient for you to raise a kid alone, isn't it? Yan Fein asked a question. Ah, I do have those thoughts. But about that, we need to be patient. After all, not everyone can be accepted by this kid. Wu Cheng Ai Wu smiled. I think Meng Yu Wei is doing pretty good, isn't she? In fact, all of us think that she might become the little princess's mom someday, said Yan Feinu. Ah, Yue, maybe it's because we know each other too well. I've been seeing her as my little sister, said Wu Cheng Ayu. Ah, I get it Yan Feinu immediately understood his meaning. He had been seeing Meng Yue as his sister. For that reason, he wanted her to be with someone better than himself. Eh, hey, Miss Yan. You made time out of your busy schedule to visit me. It's not because you want to know if I'm gonna find Ling Ling a mother, is it? Wu Cheng Ai Wu laughed and asked. Well, I almost forgot why I was here. I'm here to ask you about the new base in Upper City District, as you just came back from there. How are things going over there now? Yan Fein finally mentioned why she came here. I see. You're here because of that. They're still short-handed over there. After all. The wall will be thousands of meters long, even though it's only the wall of the base center. However, things are going well though, and they don't seem to be in a rush, said Wu Cheng Ayu. But, I don't think there's a powerful one among them to guard the new base, right? Last time, Long Yu Bai went there. If you weren't there, I guess they would be in serious troubles, Yan Fein thought for a moment and said. Eh? Hey, you seem to care about them a lot. You've done them quite some help earlier as well. 
The smile on Wu Cheng Ai-u's face grew bigger as he narrowed his eyes and looked at Yan Fainu. I heard that you're quite interested in Yuan Tang Xing, aren't you? He knew about that. Earlier on, Yang Zhao sent Tang He the robber after Yuan Tang Xing and his people because Yan Fainu and Yuan Tang Xing got too close. After all, he was drooling over her the whole time. Um, you know it clearly, so don't say it out aloud. Actually, I wanted to visit them recently, so I decided to come here first and see what you know about their situation, Yan Fainu admitted frankly. I've told you what I know. But last time, it wasn't me who beat off Long Yu Bai. Their base is also guarded by powerful beings. You don't need to worry, Wu Cheng Ai Wu said to her. Eh? His words shocked Yan Fainu slightly. Wasn't that you? According to the intelligence, a level 7 superpowered being stopped Long Yu Bai's army and forced them back. The accuracy rate of your intelligence is too low. That wasn't me. Wu Cheng Ai Wu smilingly shook his head. Is that so? Didn't you fight Long Yu Bai back then? Yan Fei looked at him with surprise. Number. I was not a part of it. Wu Cheng Ai Wu smiled. Yan Fei blinked, then smiled and asked. It turns out that there's such a powerful being among them. I guess it's Miss Lu, isn't it? I think she lent a hand when we fought Yan Zhao. M. I guess that's right. Wu Cheng Ai Wu didn't give her a specific answer. He now understood that the pretty lady was here to try to figure out who that level 7 being that beat off Long Yu Bai was. He didn't plan to let her know the truth. Instead, he decided to let her to think that it was Lutani Wu. Wu Cheng Ai Wu wasn't sure which exact level Lutani Wu the zombie and Kulilai were at. Even the one called Meng Meng was upgraded suddenly. He felt that Lutani Wu the zombie had the power to upgrade zombies quickly. Three level 7 zombies existed in a newly founded base. If the world knew about this, this new base would be targeted by all the other bases. So, we really don't need to worry about them. Yan Fainu smiled. Chapter 512, same combination. Yan Fainu didn't stay for long, leaving after asking some questions about how long Yu Bai was beaten off. Just when Wu Cheng Ai Wu thought that he could finally focus on his work, Xiao Liking ran into his office. Chief, the two people who visited you earlier went to Upper City District. What two people? Wu Cheng Ai Wu looked at him confusedly. Xiao Liking replied. The two men who visited you with a dog last time. They were wearing weird white army uniforms. This time, the two of them aren't alone. They're with a few other people with strong superpowers. They have arrived at the new base now. Wu Cheng Ai Wu now recalled those two people. Last time, they came here to find Tang He the robber. They were in white army suits indeed, and acted mysteriously. No one knew where they came from. Haven't you dug out their backgrounds yet? Wu Cheng Ai Yu asked. Xiao Liking shook his head and responded, We couldn't. The people they're with now are wearing masks, and their vibes are strange too. Wu Cheng Ai Yu suddenly thought of Tang He's death. They were here to look for Tang He, he said. I wonder how they'll react when they find out that he's dead. Xiao Liking paused for a second, then asked, About that. Will they give those upper city base people a hard time? I don't know. Did you get this information today? Wu Cheng Ai Wu looked at him. Yes. I received the news earlier today when they just arrived at Upper City District. They hadn't arrived at the new base at that time. According to the direction that they're moving in, I think they were heading to the new base, said Xiao Liking. It required at least one and half an hour of driving from Upper City District to see City Base. Therefore, when Xiao Liking got the news, over an hour had passed. In an era without telephone signals and the internet, messages were delivered very slowly. When Wu Cheng Ai Yu got the message, the two groups of people in Upper City District were already confronting each other. This is our territory. You can't come any closer, outside the zombie wall. Yan Meng and three other zombies and three human beings stopped the group of people. She stared at those people and said, in fact, those weren't all people. Judging by their vibes, only two of them were human beings, and the rest were zombies. Just like her friends and herself, one level 6 zombie and three level 5 zombies were following behind the two human beings and a mutated dog. That group made Yan Meng feel familiar. When those intruders were still far away, Yan Meng had sensed the vibes of strange zombies and informed Yuan Tanxing and the others about it. After a short discussion, they decided to send out Yan Meng, 
Lin Feng, Lin Hao, and Li Zheng to see who those people were. On her way out, Yan Meng summoned zombie number 5 and 7. Together, they stopped the group of people hundreds of meters away from the zombie wall. Roar! You're a zombie. A zombie behind Lei Cheng made a step forward and roared at Yan Meng. Except for Lei Cheng and Zheng Hao, the rest four of that group were all wearing fabric masks. Even their eyes were covered by goggles. You think I can't know what you are because you have your faces covered? Yan Meng slightly turned her body, then pointed at the group and said, Please show your faces. Yan Meng spoke with a polite tone. But her level 7 vibe made her words in order. Lei Cheng frowned with discontentment over Yan Meng's strong vibe. He prepared to step forward to shield the masked figure at the front behind him. But the latter raised a hand to stop him. Her demand is too disrespectful. Lei Cheng said to the masked figure expressionlessly. The masked figure didn't say any word to him, but waved a hand towards the other masked beings behind him. After that, the four zombies took off their masks together. They were defenseless in front of a zombie dominator. Looking at their dark eyes, colorful pupils, and the dark circles under their eyes, Lin Feng and the others showed a weird look. They thought that they were the only human beings who were working together with zombies. But now, seeing other people doing the same things, they all became curious. They wanted to know how those people cooperated with zombies. May I ask who you are and why you're here? Upper city district is now our territory, so please explain why you're here. Lin Feng stood beside Yun Meng and politely said to Lei Cheng and his people. Lin Feng looked at Yun Meng, then glanced at the zombie leaders behind her. He shared the same feeling with Lin Feng and the others on his side, as he too thought that his group was unique. Now, seeing the same kind of group, the people from both sides had the same feelings. Lei Cheng spent a moment staring at Yun Meng, then turned to Lin Feng to answer his question. We followed a level 7 robber here. According to our intelligence, he disappeared after arriving at Upper City District. Lin Qiao, Yun Meng and the others all paused briefly. Hearing Lei Cheng's words, they immediately thought of the robber who was killed by Lin Qiao. If you're talking about that robber leader who worked with Yang Zhao, the former leader of Sea City Base, I'm sorry. We never saw him, Lin Feng responded. Lei Cheng's face wore no expression, but he clearly didn't believe Lin Feng. Please don't answer so quickly. Tang He is a level 7 man, so maybe he was able to hide from you guys. In this case, tell us about where you're from. Don't you need to introduce yourselves when you come to other people's territory to find someone? Yun Meng stared at Lei Cheng and said expressionlessly. We Lei Cheng attempted to make up something to muddle through, but before he could start, he was interrupted by the few zombies around him. Roar the level 6 zombie by Lei Cheng's side responded. We mean no harm. That man is a traitor of our base. We need to bring him back. That's our mission. He had a shiny bald head, same as what Lin Qiao used to have. However, his face wasn't pretty. One of his eyes was blind, covered in a blindfold. However, the blindfold couldn't cover the scars around his eyes. Yun Men glanced at him, then turned to say to Lin Feng, he said that the robber is a traitor of their base, and that their mission is to bring him back. Lin Feng felt that the zombies among that group had much better attitude than the two human beings. He asked Yun Meng with surprise. They're all zombies. Do they have memories? He asked that question because he wanted to know if those zombies had their own minds or if they were under someone else's control. Yun Meng observed the few zombies, then turned back and nodded at Lin Feng, they have their own minds. They don't seem to be under control. Chapter 513, they'll come back. They surely have their own minds. We don't discriminate them, even for those mindless zombies. We don't attack them unless we have to. Only if they attack us do we fight back, said Lei Cheng to Yun Meng calmly. So where exactly are you from? Yun Meng impatiently glared at him and asked. For some reason, she didn't like the way that man talked. Raw the level 6 zombies seemed to want to say something to Lei Cheng. However, he then realized that the latter couldn't understand zombie language. So he hurriedly took out a pen and a piece of paper and started writing. Lei Cheng read his note then raised his head to look at Yun Meng. After a short hesitation, he started introducing his base and himself. Only a small number of people are living in our base, so very few people know about our base. We are from the Green Mountain base, 
which is located in the north, I am Lei Cheng, the leader of this squad. This is Zheng Hao, the vice squad leader. While speaking, he glanced at Zheng Hao who was by his side. Hearing that, Yun Meng snorted coldly, then turned her face away. I am Lin Feng, one of the people who are responsible for the upper city base. She's Yun Meng. She's also responsible for our base, said Lin Feng. Wait a minute. I'm not responsible for the base. I'm not. Hearing what Lin Feng said, Yun Meng immediately disagreed. Lin Giao was responsible for the base, not her. She was only assisting her. Lin Feng glanced at the few zombies behind Lin Feng, then said, we did not see that robber whom you're looking for. Our base is still in construction, and is not ready for guests. So, I'm sorry. Lei Cheng and his friends glanced at each other, then nodded and responded, sorry for bothering you. After saying that, he and his friends turned and left. After watching them leave, Yan Meng said to Lin Feng, is it okay that we let them leave just like this? Will they tell other people about us? Lin Feng shook his head and replied, I don't know about that. But, I haven't even heard the name of their base, so I guess they're from a small secret base. Besides, by telling other people about us, they'd also be exposing themselves. I think those zombies have something to do with the fact that their base is unheard of. What do you mean? Yun Meng didn't understand. I mean, they're in the same situation as us. Like us? They also need to hide the fact that they're cooperating with zombies. I can tell that they came out to hunt the trouble because they wanted to kill him, in case he might expose the secret of their base. That trouble was on the run for a long time, yet he didn't leak the slightest of information about his base. I guess it was because he didn't want to be hunted by his base, said Lin Feng. Hearing his words, Yun Meng was surprised. He kept the secret for such a long time? He was just scared of death. He was afraid that his base might get back at him, said Lin Feng. Even if he wanted to tell the secret, there's no chance for him now, Yun Meng faced the road and said. Lin Feng nodded and replied, but, I think they'll come back. Really? Yun Meng looked at him and asked, just wait and see. Let's go back. Lin Feng turned and headed back. Soon, Wu Cheng Ayu received the news in C City Base about Lei Cheng and his people being stopped on their way. Those people in the upper city district weren't too aggressive, but they won't give up so easily, said Wu Cheng Ayu. Haven't you heard anything from that female zombie yet? Why on earth did she go to the south? Even if there is news about her, it requires time for it to be delivered to us from the south, said Xiao Liking. All right. Wu Cheng Ayu nodded helplessly. Wu Yu Ling was leaning against Wu Cheng Ayu. Hearing Wu Cheng Ayu say the words female zombie, she was instantly unhappy. She knew whom Wu Cheng Ayu was talking about, but she didn't like him calling her that. That was her zombie mom. With discontentment, she slapped Wu Cheng Ayu's lap with her tiny hand. Eh? Hey, what's wrong? Wu Cheng Ayu lowered his head and looked at the little girl confusedly. Wu Yu Ling slapped him two more times, then turned and showed her back to him. Wu Cheng Ayu looked at her bewilderedly. What's wrong with her? He turned and asked Xiao Liking. How am I supposed to know? Xiao Liking looked at her with confusion, saying, She's your daughter, not mine. Did I say something just now? Oh female zombie Wu Cheng Ayu thought for a moment then prepared to ask if she reacted that way because he said the words female zombie. However, before he finished his words, Wu Yu Ling quickly turned back and slapped him twice again. Wu Cheng Ayu didn't know what to say. I think Ling Ling doesn't like you saying the words female zombie. Am I right, Ling Ling? Xiao Liking crossed his arms before his chest, then raised a hand to rub his chin while speaking. Hearing that, Wu Yu Ling popped her large eyes and looked at Xiao Liking adorably. A hey, Ling Ling is looking at me. Being looked at by her, Xiao Liking immediately felt flattered. Before, Wu Yu Ling only glanced at him and other soldiers quickly, but never looked at them in the eyes. Also, she never made any expressions toward them. What's so strange about that? Talk to me. Doesn't Ling Ling like me calling her female zombie? Why? She's a zombie isn't she? What am I supposed to call her then? Wu Cheng Ayu impatiently glanced at Xiao Liking who was excited for some reason, then turned to ask Wu Yu Ling. Wu Yu Ling looked them while pouting and shaking her head. Ling Ling only looked at you, Deputy Chief, and Meng Yu before, said Xiao Liking, 
I felt that she counted the rest of us out of her world. Now, she's looking at me, and I feel that she has dragged me into her world. Ah, deputy chief is no longer deputy chief. All right, stop murmuring here. Go and do your job, Wu Chengai Wu impatiently waved a hand. All right, Xiao Liking turned and walked out. Wu Chengai Wu didn't want to interrupt the communication between him and Wu Yuling but he had given him a lot of work to do. That was why he sent him out. Here, Ling Ling, if you don't want me to call her that, what do you want me to call her then? Wu Cheng I Wu looked at Wu Yuling and asked. Wu Yuling looked at him at first, then suddenly turned and took out a piece of paper from between the couch cushions. Then, she unfolded it and showed it to him. She had drawn three people on that paper. With surprise, Wu Cheng I Wu found a few words written on the paper, Daddy, Ling Ling, Mommy, Ling Ling, you can write? Wu Cheng I Wu looked at Wu Yuling with a delightful surprise. His precious little girl could write. Normal five-year-old children might be able to write a lot of words, but Ling Ling was different. She couldn't even communicate with people normally, not to mention writing. Besides, no one could force her to do the things that she didn't like doing. Wu Cheng I Wu once tried to teach her writing, but once he started, Ling Ling's illness attacked. Chapter 514, Ling Ling starts writing. Teaching Ling Ling reading and writing would make her irritable, and her illness would attack easily. Therefore, Wu Cheng I Wu didn't dare to do that. Before, he didn't know what the little girl was interested in. If Lin Kiao didn't show up, Wu Cheng I Wu might only be able to provide her with enough food and clothes, and keep her safe and healthy. Not long ago. Wu Yuling was with Lin Kiao in Upper City Base. Back then, the latter taught her how to draw. After that, she slowly grew fond of drawing. Now, she often stayed in Wu Cheng I Wu's office alone, drawing all sorts of things on a notebook. However, Lin Kiao wasn't the one who taught her to write. In fact, it was Lin Xiaolu. In the last few days in Upper City Base, Wu Yuling actually got along pretty well with Lin Xiaolu. Once, she went to play with Lin Xiaolu when the latter was practicing writing, and saw her writing those few words. Lin Xiaolu couldn't stop only because Wu Yuling came to play with her, so she smartly convinced Ling Ling to learn to write together with her. She taught Wu Yuling word by word. When the latter finally wrote one word on her own, she suddenly had this indescribable sense of achievement, and then was obsessed in teaching Wu Yuling how to write. That was how Wu Yuling learned to write those words. Wu Yuling didn't understand why. Before, when Wu Cheng Yu tried to teach her to write, she felt very impatient. So, every time her father tried, she refused to learn. But this time, Lin Xiaolu aroused Wu Yuling's interest with one single sentence. Back then, Lin Xiaolu said to her, My mom gave me this task. Ling Ling. I have to listen to my mum's words or she'll punish me. Ling Ling, do you have a mum? Wu Yuling shook her head at that time. She didn't have a mother. But later on, she thought of Lin Kiao. Her dad said that she was Ling Ling's mother, so the little girl was suddenly intrigued. She asked Lin Xiaolu how to write mum. The two of them didn't need to talk to communicate with each other, because Lin Xiaolu was able to read Wu Yuling's mind. After knowing that Wu Yuling was interested in the word mum, Lin Xiaolu immediately started teaching her to write. She also knew that Wu Yuling was seeing her zombie auntie as her mother, so she found a good entry point. She didn't know why Wu Yuling felt that way, but she did know that the little girl now wanted to learn to write for that reason, and that was enough. As long as she wanted to learn, Lin Xiaolu could teach her. When the latter had learned how to write, Lin Xiaolu would have that sense of achievement. In this way, Lin Xiaolu who was only seven or eight years old, easily fixed the problem that Wu Cheng I Wu could not solve for a long time. Ling Ling, who taught you to write? Can you tell daddy? Wu Cheng I Wu was very happy, but he could not act too emotionally in front of his daughter. So, he squatted before her and asked. Wu Yu Ling sat straight and jumped off the couch, then stood in front of him and start to making signs with both hands. Wu Cheng I Wu spent a long while to figure it out. Are you saying that Xiaolu taught you to write? As he expected, Wu Yuling nodded quickly at him. Great. Daddy will take you to play with her more, okay? Wu Cheng I Wu smiled. Wu Yuling nodded in agreement. After that, Wu Cheng I Wu looked at her treasured drawing and asked, So Ling Ling, 
Since you don't want me to call her female zombie, what do you want me to call her then? Wu Yu Ling sat on the couch and pointed at the bald figure in the drawing. The word mommy was written above that bald figure's head. Seeing the word mommy, Wu Cheng I really couldn't describe his feeling. He quietly stared at the bald figure in the drawing for a while, then raised his head and looked at Wu Yu Ling as he asked her, I won't call her zombie anymore. Will that work? At least, he wouldn't call her female zombie again in front of his daughter. Wu Cheng Ayu nodded. Then, she suddenly thought of something else and reached out a hand to drag Wu Cheng Ayu's sleeve. Eh? What's wrong? Wu Cheng Ayu looked at her and noticed the expectant look in her eyes. Do you want to see her again? Wu Yu Ling nodded immediately. Wu Cheng Ayu stood up and held her as he sat on the couch while saying, Em, actually, I want to see her too. But we have to wait until she comes back. Daddy wants to see if Viney can grow big in her belly. Hearing Viney's name, Wu Yu Ling's eyes glowed again. She looked at Wu Cheng Ayu with a slight excitement. What exactly is Viney? Do you know? Wu Cheng Ayu asked with curiosity. Is she a mutated plant? She actually used Lutani U and me to create herself a physical body. She's such a smart plant. Someone borrowed a sperm from him. Thinking about that. He also realized that that creature would be his child. An indescribable feeling rose from his heart. A mysterious, smart creature borrowed a sperm from him, then became a baby inside a female zombie's belly. Half of that baby's genes were from him, so, that was his child indeed. A female zombie was pregnant with his first child. The more he thought about that, the stronger that indescribable feeling became. He didn't hate that female zombie now. On the contrary, he was pretty interested in her. However, she was traveling all over the country carrying his child. He wasn't sure if the fetus had developed or not, but Viney's affirmative tone of speaking made him believe that it had. Wu Cheng Ayu shook her head, then found a pencil and started drawing on a piece of paper. She was drawing a smaller person with a round head, round body, and short limbs. Wu Cheng Ayu spent a short while looking at her drawing, then asked, are you saying that she has already become a baby? Wu Yu Ling nodded as she looked at him. All right, she has become a baby. Wu Cheng Ayu had no choice but to nod with her. In the upper city district, Yun Meng returned to the hotel with Lin Feng and the others, then left them there and headed to Mount Wu farming land. Xi Dong, Shen Yujin, and the other three zombies loosened the soil together, then planted the pumpkin seeds and potatoes that Lin Giao had left. Liu Jun would come to help during the daytime. After all, she had no work to do in the hotel, but wanted to do something nevertheless. She used to take care of those vegetables and strawberry plants in Lin Giao's space, so she was more familiar with this kind of work than Xi Dong and Shen Yujin. Every single day, Xi Dong worked in the farmland and rested in the wooden cabin that he built by it. The three zombies followed him. When he rested, they rested too. And when he started working, they always did the same. The three girls would all return to the hotel to rest at night. Chapter 515, Countermeasures Liu Jun and the other zombies found that those seeds sprouted in just a couple of days after they were planted. They were very surprised, even though those sprouts were still tiny. Normally, pumpkin seeds would sprout about a week after they were planted. However, the seeds which had been soaked in diluted lake water sprouted in less than three days. Seeing those seeds sprout in the soil which was loosened by themselves, Xi Dong and the others all sighed in relief. Taking care of the farmland was a mission that Lin Giao had given them. They were happy that they didn't let her down. Moreover, they had an indescribable sense of accomplishment. I wonder when Lin Giao will come back, and how things are going on her side said Liu Jun while watering those pumping sprouts. She'll be back when she finishes what she needs to do. Yan Meng squatted on the ground as she stared at a potato plant while answering Liu Jun's question. Who are those people that you went out to stop from approaching earlier today? Liu Jun asked. Ah, they said that they're going after that robber leader named Tang He. Also, their subordinates aren't human beings. Those were a few zombie leaders and a zombie king. Recalling what happened earlier today, Yan Meng abruptly raised her head as she looked at Liu Jun and said, What? Liu Jun was stunned a little. She paused, then turned back to look at Yan Meng. Not only her, 
Both Xidong and Shen Yujin turned to Yan Meng. Yan Meng stood up and said to them, Yeah, those were zombies, at rather high levels. They didn't look like mindless zombies. Instead, they seemed to have memories. The others glanced at each other. It was the first time they heard about other zombies with clear minds. Those zombies even had memories. They didn't have memories before meeting Lin Kiao. Xidong and Shen Yujin became zombies with memories because of Lin Kiao. At least, that's what they thought. And now, they suddenly heard there were other zombies with memories, clear minds, and intelligence like themselves. They had a strange feeling about it, as if they had just found their kind. But soon, they thought of the possible standpoints of those mysterious zombies and calmed down. Since they're even traveling with zombies, do zombies and human beings live together in their base, like in our base? And, why do they want that robber? Yu Jun frowned slightly and asked. They said that Tang He was a traitor of their base. So they formed a squad and chased him all the way here. We haven't heard about the name of the base that they told us, so we can't tell if what they said is real or not. Mr. Lin said that if what they said is real, they should be hunting the trouble because they don't want him to leak the secret about their base. Yan Meng told the others about what Lin Feng said. Liu Jun made an eye contact with Xi Dong, then slightly dropped her eyelids and said while thinking, in that case, Lin Feng might be right. That robber was probably seeking protection. That might be the reason why he tried to get in C City base. In fact, he didn't dare to leak the secret of that base, because once he did, he leaked his location as well. M. Um, yes, yes, that's what Mr. Lin said, Yan Meng quickly nodded. So, although they've left now, they'll still be back after they have confirmed that the robber disappeared here. Meng Meng. You have to pay close attention to the outskirts of the base. The more Yu Jun thought about it, the more she felt that those people's purpose wasn't as simple as they claimed. M. Mr. Lin said that we do need to stay alert about this. He'll talk to you Aunt Anxing and the others about it too. I only need to show up to overawe the enemies. They'll do the rest of the job, said Yan Meng relaxedly. She didn't take those people seriously. She wasn't afraid of them even if she did need to fight them. Even though there was no zombie king or queen in Upper City base now, there were three super-powered ones. Together, they wouldn't lose to that zombie king in that group. Liu Jun wasn't as relaxed as Yan Meng, because she figured that those people would have the same thoughts. If they showed up again soon, things might not be too bad, but if they didn't come back for a long time, they might be heading back to gather an army. They might be a scouting squad. Perhaps, that robber was just an excuse. At the same time, Lin Feng and the others were talking about those people in an office in the hotel as well. A level 7 superpowered man, a level 6 superpowered man, a zombie king, and three level 5 zombies. This combination can compete with us. Do Aunt Anxing sat behind the desk, resting both elbows on the desk while talking. I'm worrying that they may be using that robber as an excuse. They may have some other purpose said Lin Feng with a frown. That'll depend on when will they show up again. If they didn't show up in two or three days, I think we'll be in huge trouble, said Yu Aunt Danxing. What should we do? Chen Yuting sat beside him and asked, Yu Aunt Danxing and Lin Feng had made it very clear. If those people showed up again within three days, their words would be proven to be true. After they confirmed that that robber did disappear in this area, they would come back to directly ask Upper City base people about his whereabouts. If they didn't show up again in three or five days, they might be up to something bigger. If a war was started, the people in the new base might not be strong enough to stop the enemies. Should we send people to see City base and ask for help again? Before you Aunt Anxing and Lin Feng responded, Chen Yuting continued. Lin Feng turned to you Aunt Tanxing. He did want to send his people to see city base to ask for reinforcements. The latter thought for a moment, then nodded and said, I think we should. Let's send a level 5 superpowered one to see city base and deliver the message. If only we can send someone to approach those people and find out about their true intention. Lin Feng and Chen Yuting made an eye contact, both seeming to disagree. That's a good idea. But one of them is a level 7 powerful being. Also, they have zombies and a dog. A level 5 or 6 mutated dog. Which one of our people can successfully approach them without being spotted? 
said Lin Feng, you aren't anxing side. What Lin Feng mentioned was indeed an unsolvable problem. If only Miss Lua here. She was traceless like a ghost, and a mutated dog shouldn't be a problem in her eyes. Perhaps, she would even skin the dog and eat it. That's why I said if only. If we're really gonna send someone, we should either send the strongest one or the weakest one. After all, they can't sense the creatures stronger than themselves and they won't be on alert against the weaker ones, you aren't anxing thought for a moment and then said, chapter 516, their zombie army returned. As the person who was the best at pursuing information wasn't here, you aren't anxing and the others all felt helpless. They thought that Lin Kiao might not be back so soon, but in fact, she had already arrived at a town near Hangzhou city. At that moment, the people on her car were all gazing at the huge zombie crowd outside with stunned faces. Yang Xioi took his head back in from outside the window, then rubbed his bald head as he looked at Lin Kiao, who sat before him, and asked, Boss you gathered so many zombies on our way. Are you building a zombie army? Zombie army? All the way, their motorcade was surrounded and escorted by zombies. At first, the people in those vehicles were scared and confused. But 24 hours later, they got used to looking at those zombies. Thankfully, those zombies had been keeping a distance from the motorcade even though they followed pretty closely. Those people adapted the situation soon. After all, they had all passed the test which took place outside the old Hades base. Yeah, the new base is surrounded by a zombie army as well, said Lin Giao blandly. No wonder you made them go through the zombie path. That was a test said Kian Xioi. Lin Kiao responded, I did it for their own good. But don't worry, these zombies won't enter the base. You have to know that we're very short-handed now. These zombies are our only option. But, there are so many of them. Can you control them all? Kian Xioi asked. Would I summon them all here if I couldn't? Kian Xioi didn't know what to say. Two or three hours later, they arrived at the border between West Lake District and Upper City District. All right. Stop for a second. I'll go out, and you keep heading to the center of Upper City District, she asked. Do you Ahn want to park the car, then got off the car and hopped onto the car roof. You can start moving, while speaking, she leapt onto the roof of the car in behind. Roar, roar, roar. When she leapt over, the zombies in behind stopped moving and roared at her but didn't dare to approach. Lin Giao jumped onto a residential building nearby and stood on the roof, watching those vehicles pass by one after another. In about twenty minutes, the motorcade moved past that building under Lin Giao's feet. Roar! She suddenly turned and bared her teeth as she gave a roar to the zombies which were crowding in the streets and allies behind her. Following her voice, some nimble and smart high-level zombies leapt out of the crowd and hopped over to Lin Kiao. Lin Kiao moved slightly, and Kulilai showed up by her side in the next second. Wow! So many zombies. Have you summoned all the zombies that you saw on your way? Kulilai took fright when she saw the huge group of zombies once she came out. I didn't summon them. They followed the human scent here. I only controlled the range of their gathering. Lin Kiao shook her head and said. Kulilai glanced at the group of high-leveled zombies around her and Lin Kiao, then said while counting them, all level 2 or 3, no level 4 or 5. The ones at level 4 or 5 have all run away. How dare they approach this place? They're not silly. Lin Kiao glanced at her and said, level 4 or 5 zombies were already very smart. They sensed the pressure given out by Lin Kiao, a zombie dominator, from a long distance away and then got scared off. You're right. Your vibe is way too intimidating now. It's even scarier than mine. They're surely afraid of you. Kulilai looked at Lin Kiao from head to toe, then said, Is that my fault? Is that my fault to be strong? Lin Kiao shrugged. It's not your fault. Tell me, what are we gonna do next? Kulilai raised her head and glanced at the tens of intelligent zombies around them. Those level two or three zombies had some intelligence but weren't smart enough, as their levels were still relatively low. Being tempted by the scent of living human beings, they couldn't help but come here. But because of Lin Giao's vibe, they didn't dare to come too close. Therefore, they followed behind the motorcade and kept a distance from it. Lin Giao said, I'll bring these smarter ones into my space and train them. You bring these ordinary zombies to somewhere near the upper city district and let them stay there. 
Don't let them enter the upper city district though. Not enter the upper city district? Kulilai nodded, as she understood Lin Kiao's meaning. No. Find a relatively remote area, and don't let them be too eye-catching. Go. Lin Kiao said said to her. Kulilai turned and floated up into the air, bringing those zombies to the area between West Lake District and Upper City District. West Lake District was crowded by zombies already, so adding hundreds of thousands of them would make no difference at all. Lin Kiao asked her to gather those zombies near the edge of Upper City District because she wanted them to stay close to Upper City District without affecting the human beings in that district. After watching Kulilai leave, Lin Kiao waved at those zombies around her and said, Here, all of you come over here. Those intelligent zombies didn't dare to disobey. Instead, they all leapt over and gathered on the roof that Lin Kiao was standing on. Lin Kiao hopped on top of the stair room, looking at those zombies. She couldn't find a rope that was long enough to bring all those zombies into her space at one time. So, she threw a few short ropes to those zombies and ordered them to hold them. She brought about a dozen zombies into her space each time. After repeating the process for a couple of times, she finally brought all those zombies in. Once entering Lin Kiao's space, those zombies were agitated. Roar, roar. The space wasn't huge, and the air in it was filled with the vibes of Lin Kiao, Kulilai, and other high-leveled zombies. So, those zombies instantly had a sense of crisis. Lin Kiao's space had grown much larger than before. After she restored her memories, her space had expanded ten times over. But this time, the lake didn't grow further larger, only the land area and woods area expanded. There was no land on the other side of the lake before. But now, a new grassland had appeared in that area. The grasses in that area were short. That was an incredibly broad area, looking like a thriving prairie. Lin Kiao put those zombies on that new grassland. The lake stood between them and the small building. Raw. Sensing the scents of those strange zombies, the group of level 4 or 5 zombies in Lin Kiao's space stuck their heads out of the entrances of those small space and looked at the other side of the lake. Seeing that Lin Kiao had brought in some lower level zombies, they were all curious and a little excited. Meanwhile, they were having some thoughts. We have new friends. But, why did she put them over there? They're so far away. We can't go across the energy lake to bully them. Chapter 517, I'll give you the answer. After bringing those zombies in, Lin Kiao yelled at them, stay right here. This new grassland was perfect for keeping zombies. She turned and flashed to the small building's side then picked up a bucket and fetched some water from the lake before dragging it to the clearing before the building. After that, she waved a water ladle toward the group of level 4 or 5 zombies. Come here. Those zombies consciously went to the cabinet to pick their cups before going to Lin Kiao. They had done that many times, so they had memorized the process. You, come here. Lin Kiao called the level 4 spirit-powered zombie. Roar. The young male spirit-powered zombie walked out, looking at Lin Kiao with confusion. Lin Kiao handed him the water ladle and said, distribute the water to them, a ladle full of water each. The spirit-powered zombie took over the ladle and paused for two seconds before realizing what had happened. Roar. He asked Lin Kiao, me? Lin Kiao nodded and said, yeah, you go. She knew that he understood her meaning. Then, she said to the other zombies, the rest of you? behave yourselves. Do not disobey him. The spirit power zombie had been rather obedient lately, so Lin Kiao decided to give him a job. This is a job for you alone. Work hard. After saying that, she turned and left the space without saying another word to the other zombies. Next, she showed up on the outside, chasing the motorcade. At that time, the motorcade had already entered Upper City District and was getting closer and closer to the new base. After following the motorcade about two miles, Lin Kiao suddenly stopped moving, then turned invisible and climbed onto a tall building. She raised her head to sniff around, then carefully sensed the surrounding atmosphere. She found two strangers somewhere in Upper City District. That wasn't weird. The weird thing was that they were with a few high-leveled zombies, one zombie king and three zombie leaders. Lin Kiao was curious. Were those people able to control high-leveled zombies? How did they do that? As they were strangers in her territory, 
Lin Qiao would surely go and see who they were. At least, she needed to figure out their purpose. So, she sneakily approached those people. Before long, she arrived at the roof of the building which those people stayed in. That was a small hotel building. She came down from the roof and into the hallway on the third floor. Surprisingly, she found a level 6 mutated dog instead of human beings or zombies. Looking at the mutated dog, she wiped her saliva. No wonder she had been sensing a nice aroma of food. It turned out to be the dog. The mutated dog was wearing a white dog coat. It didn't sense Lin Giao's arrival and was sitting before a door leisurely, its tongue hanging out of its mouth. Lin Giao put her ear against the closed door to listen to the sounds inside. Tang He is definitely hiding in that small base. But, those people said that they hadn't seen him. Who would believe them? Besides, the dog's nose wouldn't lie to us, would it? You're right though. He can't possibly hide his scent from our dog. We should have caught him when he was still in Sea City. Now, he has gotten away. Be patient. He can't run away from us. He even attempted to get into Sea City base and hide there. But in the end, he blindly chose to work with someone like Yang Zhao. What should we do next? We've searched throughout this whole area. His scent disappeared in Mount Wu area. Also, those people actually made zombies do farm work. How weird. Hearing their conversation, Lin Qiao had already figured out whom those people were looking for. They were here to find that robber leader. Judging by their attitude, they seemed to have been seeing that robber leader as a criminal. She wondered how they would react when they found out that that robber was already killed by her. When Lin Qiao was having that thought, someone inside the room suddenly asked another question as if he was affected by her thoughts. Captain, you see is it possible that he's already killed? After all, there is a zombie dominator in that new base. That's a level 7 zombie. She's much stronger than level 6 zombies. Perhaps, Tang He somehow offended them and got killed. I've already thought about that possibility. Earlier on when he was working with Yang Zhao, he did offend those Hades base people. Yet, he followed them here. Wasn't that suicidal? It would fine if he had truly died. I'm just worrying that he didn't die, but chose to run away after he realized that he had no chance against those people. In that case, we need to keep looking for them. That's why I want to confirm it with those people and zombies. But clearly, they don't believe us. That's a little troublesome. Then we'll see them again and make it clear with them. That's the only way. Lin Qiao made a few steps backward before footsteps could be heard from the room. Even though only two people had been talking, she knew that there were others in that room. She just didn't know if those zombies were here to fight for the two people or play other roles. Before she figured out, the door was opened and two men in white army uniforms walked out. Following behind them were four in masks and the same kind of uniforms. Once they came out, a woman's voice could be heard clearly from around them. Oh, you don't need to go. I can give you the answer. Bo. Before the two human beings and four zombies could react to that voice, the mutated dog which just stood up from the ground burst in a roar toward the area behind the group, with its hair standing straight up. Er it let out deep roars from its throat to warn Lin Kiao. Oi, 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 watch your dog. Or, I'll let my dog out too. Lin Kiao smilingly made a step backward and said hurriedly. Er lie, quiet. Lei Cheng hurriedly shouted at the dog. The mutated dog immediately had its hair lie back down, but still fixed its eyes on Lin Kiao. You are? Zheng Hao looked at Lin Kiao and asked alertly. Lin Kiao crossed her arms before her chest and said to him, Ah, I'm one of the leaders of the new base in Upper City Base. My name is Lutani U. As Lin Kiao seemed to be careless and with no hostility, one of the men responded, My name is Lei Cheng. This is my assistant, Zheng Hao. While speaking, he pointed at Zheng Hao, who was standing by his side. You just said that you can give us the answer. What's it about? Zheng Hao stared at Lin Qiao and asked. This strange woman in sunglasses who appeared all of a sudden made him feel threatened. Aren't you here to look for that level 7 robber who worked with Yang Zhao? He's dead. Do you believe me? Lin Qiao said with a faint smile. Please let me confirm this. You're Miss Lu who always appears and disappears mysteriously, right? You're with those Hades base people, aren't you? Lei Cheng's handsome face wore no expression as he abruptly asked that question. Yes, 
I am, but appearing and disappearing mysteriously. What does that mean? I'm not a ghost. Lin Kiao nodded and admitted, Oh, I'm sorry, that's what others said about you. Lei Cheng apologized, but did not show an apologetic look at all. Chapter 518, He can't take it, just now, you said that Tang He is dead. What happened? Zheng Hao asked, He's dead. He offended my people, and he brought himself to me. I had no reason not to kill him, Lin Kiao curved her mouth corners in a cold smile. Under her sunglasses, a gleam of light flashed across her green eyes. You, to be honest, I can't sense how powerful you are. Are you really able to kill him? Zheng Hao looked at Lin Kiao with doubts. He might believe her if she said that Tang He was killed by that short-haired zombie dominator whom he saw earlier. I think she is. Lei Cheng raised a hand toward Zheng Hao, then looked at Lin Kiao expressionlessly as he said, No ordinary being can show up around us without being sensed by Erli. That kind of skill might not be able to kill the metal-powered Tang He, but I feel that she has a lethal kind of power. Zheng Hao looked at Lei Cheng. Then at Lin Kiao. Afterward, he turned and glanced at the people in masks behind him with confusion in his eyes. Their zombie king shook his head toward him, letting him know that he too didn't sense that woman coming. Lin Kiao sighed and said, I can't do anything to make you believe me. I've destroyed that robber's body and absorbed his nucleus, so I have nothing to prove his death. Lei Cheng nodded, then waved a hand to her and said, I believe what you said. But, if you pick up a battle against him and win, I'll firmly believe that you killed Tang He. While speaking, he pointed at the zombie king behind him. Lin Kiao looked at him with surprise, asking, why him? I thought only you have the ability to fight me. It's not like that. If you win against him within half an hour, I'll know that you're strong enough to kill Tang He, said Lei Cheng. How does that work? The one behind you is only at level 6, isn't he? Even though he's a zombie king. There's still a gap between him and a level 7 metal-powered man. Lin Kiao scratched her chin and said without thinking, her words threw the whole group into silence, making them stare at her silently. The atmosphere suddenly became a little tense. Even the mutated dog started bared its teeth with its hairs standing up. Are you surprised? Because I know what they are without needing to look at their faces and sense their vibes. Although their uniforms cover their zombie vibe, I can still sense it. Lin Kiao touched her own nose while saying, she didn't need to sense it. She knew that they were zombies once she approached them. All right. Since you already know that he's a zombie, you should know that zombies can fight higher level human beings. If you can make him defenseless within half an hour, we'll think that you're definitely able to kill Tang He. That, I believe. Lei Cheng blinked and responded, as expressionlessly as always, me against him? I don't need half an hour. He won't even last three seconds. Lin Kiao curved one side of her mouth corners in a smile, giving out a wicked feeling. She sounded arrogant. Those people and zombies couldn't see her eyes, but they detected scorn from her smile. Zheng Hao and Lei Cheng both frowned. So confident? Lei Cheng looked at her. It's not about confidence. It's just the truth. Right, you guys? Lin Kiao slightly lowered her head and raised a hand to take off her sunglasses. When she raised her head, Lei Cheng and Zheng Hao were a little stunned. Meanwhile, the four behind them took a few steps backward together. At the same time, the three zombie leaders instantly knelt. Whoa woo 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 woo. The mutated dog suddenly gave a roar and sprung up, as if it was stimulated by something. It turned and ran away with its tail between its legs disappearing within a second. Lin Kiao released her vibe entirely when she raised her head. Not even zombie kings and queens could withstand the vibe of a zombie dominator, not to mention the fact that the distance between those zombies and her was very short. Therefore, the three level 5 zombies directly knelt to the ground. Eh? Hey, I'm not dead yet. Don't kneel before me. Lin Kiao quickly moved to the side and said. She restrained her vibe again then said to that level 6 zombie, do you still want to fight? Roar! The zombie king hurriedly made a step backward, quickly waving hands toward her. No, no, apostrophe. You, you're a zombie. Zheng Hao's eyeballs nearly fell out of his eye sockets. Even Lei Cheng, who had been calm the whole time, 
was staring at Lin Giao in shock now. Lin Giao put her sunglasses back on and said, I am a zombie. What? Is it weird? Aren't you with zombies too? Roar before Lei Cheng and Zheng Hao replied, the zombie king behind them gave a roar. But, we can't talk. Lei Cheng and Zheng Hao couldn't understand zombie language, but they could guess his meaning more or less. So, they both looked at Lin Kiao and waited for her to answer. What does that have to do with the death of that robber? I've already told you that I killed him, and you can choose to believe me or not. Lin Kiao pushed her sunglasses slightly upward and said. After saying that, she turned and disappeared from where she was, as she didn't want to continue the conversation. Lei Cheng and Zheng Hao watched her disappear, then turned and asked that zombie king. You seem to be really scared of her, is she a zombie dominator too? Level 6 zombies were called zombie kings and queens. After breaking into level 7, they would become zombie dominators, which were even stronger than zombie kings and queens. No zombie dominator had emerged from their base so far, but to their surprise, they met two of them in that new base which didn't have many people yet. Raw. The zombie king roared at him. She's even scarier than zombie dominators. Lei Cheng didn't figure out his exact meaning, but understood that Lin Giao was a zombie dominator for sure. She's strong enough to kill Tang He indeed if she's a zombie dominator. Besides, she has no reason to lie to us, right? Tang He was her enemy, and was our enemy too. Lei Cheng looked at where Lin Giao disappeared from and said calmly, I can't sense anything from her vibe. Zheng Hao looked a little confused as he added, and she can talk. That young zombie girl whom we met earlier can talk too. How did they do that? About that, we need to go back to report to our base directors and see what they'll say. We'll talk about it by then. Lei Cheng didn't seem to be very interested in that. Can we go back? Zheng Hao asked. M, we'll head back. Lei Cheng nodded. Chapter 519 whose big zombie sister Lin Kiao didn't leave right after she turned invisible. Instead, she stayed around those people and zombies to observe them. They had stopped talking about that robber, and started talking about her. She guessed that these people and zombies would come back someday. She didn't mind it anyway. Judging by the two human beings' attitude toward their zombie friends, zombies were treated equally in their base. Also, those zombies didn't seem to be under control. Their minds were all clear, and they followed the two human beings willingly. But still, Lin Giao sensed something special from those zombies' minds. Their base might have used some scientific technology to keep their memories and clear minds. That was a mysterious base indeed. She watched them leave, and didn't think too deeply about the fact that they might come back in the future. If they came back, she would like to cooperate with them anyway. She turned to look for her motorcade, which had already arrived at the zombie wall around the new base. Looking at the large crowd of zombies which jammed the way but didn't pounce on them crazily, Du An Wan and the others were very surprised, even though they had prepared themselves mentally for this. Wow! There really are some zombies. Gian Xiao I leaned against the head of the car and said with surprise while looking at the zombie crowd at about 10 meters away. Du An Wan got off the car as well, looking at those zombies who obediently stayed still. Don't run about. I won't help you if you exasperate them. Don't worry. Am I a troublemaker? Gian Xiao I grinned. Where did boss go? It's been so long. She's not here, so how are we supposed to get through? Right at that moment. A figure leapt down from the roof of the tall building nearby. That was a high school girl, with neatly cut, ear-length hair. She was wearing a pair of simply designed middle pants and a white t-shirt. Her face was clean, and her eyes looked familiar. Those eyes were purely black, with dark green pupils. Their boss had the same kind of eyes, but with slightly different colored pupils. Lin Kiao's pupils were in a different type of greenness. Her eyes revealed her nature to everyone on the scene. Stay put. Du An Wan suddenly yelled at the people behind her. She wasn't sure if that zombie was a friend or an enemy. Du An Wan and her people had a guess though. It seemed that that zombie wasn't planning to attack them, so they guessed that she wouldn't make any move. Hearing Du An Wan's voice, the people behind her who had started to take actions stopped moving. Thankfully, 
they were used to being surrounded by zombies these days, so they weren't too afraid when they saw those zombies. She, she's not the zombie boss who's been guarding this road, is she? Can she communicate with us? Yanxio I walked to Juan Wan's side and asked with a low voice, I don't know, let's see what will happen. Boss is not back yet. No one makes any move, said Juan Wan. While waiting for Lin Kiao, she observed the young female zombie. The young female zombie landed on the ground and gave them a few glances, then abruptly walked toward them at a slow pace. Duan Wan and Kian Xiao I immediately looked at her with vigilance. The young female zombie walked to them slowly. At three meters from them, she stopped, leaned her head forward and sniffed around, and then suddenly started talking. M, you smell like her. You came back with big zombie sister, right? Yan Meng asked, hearing her talk. Duan Wan and her people were all stunned. But soon, they calmed back down and answered her question while observing her with surprise. A, we're from Hades base in the south. I don't know who Big Zombie Sister is. Ju An Wan guessed that Big Zombie Sister was either Lin Giao or the long-haired zombie girl. With the word Big, she felt that it was more likely to be Lin Giao, the one named Lutani U. She went south days ago. She's our leader, so of course, she's Big Zombie Sister. Yan Meng rested both hands in the pockets of her jeans and said, Li Hongxing, Kian Xioi, Li Hongxing, and the few others glanced at each other, all having a weird feeling. Their boss had become Big Zombie Sister. Somehow, they felt that name matched her perfectly. Or, maybe they should say that it was an appropriate name. Eh? Didn't she come back with you guys? Yan Meng leaned her head forward again, then sniffed around and continued, I sensed a large group of strange zombies behind you. There were so many of them. Oh, those zombies followed us all the way here from the south. Just now, boss. A, hey, miss. Lu guided them to somewhere else. She told us to come here first, said Duan Wan. Duan Wan was used to calling Lin Kiao boss. She realized that calling her that now might make their zombie girl feel strange, so she hurriedly changed it. I see Yun Meng nodded then raised her head to look at those people in the vehicles behind Duan Wan's while murmuring, she brought so many people back. It's good though. Now we can build our base faster. Right at that moment, a white figure descended from the air. Eh? Why did you come out? Kulilai landed by Yun Men's side and asked with surprise, where's zombie number three? Seeing Kulilai, Yan Meng immediately spread her arms and jumped on her. That composure which she showed just now was immediately gone. Lilai, give me a hug. However, Kulilai stepped aside, dodging her crazy hug as she said, Can't you be serious? Yan Meng failed to hug Kulilai, and nearly fell to the ground. She unhappily glanced at the latter and responded, Am I not serious? I haven't seen you in days, and I missed you. You're so stingy, Pa. Who's stingy? Do you want me to beat you? Kulilai didn't like young men calling her stingy. Come on, let's fight. Am I afraid of you? If you lose, you're going to be my cuddle bear for a whole night. Young men quickly rolled up her sleeves and said, Du An Wan and her people were so confused. They didn't understand why the atmosphere turned weird once Kulilai showed up. What was happening? Zombie number three. The middle-aged level 5 male zombie who had been standing aside without a strong sense of presence, now bent over and prepared to sneak into the zombie crowd. Oi, zombie number 3, don't go. Yun Meng suddenly stared at him and gave a roar. Zombie number 3 froze, then turned around with a bitter face. His zombie face showed no expression, but a helpless look could be detected from his eyes. Two powerful beings were going to fight. How could he not run as far away as possible? What if they accidentally hurt him? Then, Yan Meng turned and pointed at Du An Wan and her people as she said, And you guys, you'll bear witness. If I win, she will be my cuddle bear for a whole night. Beat me first. I think you become thick-skinned again as I haven't punished you for quite long. Kulilai scornfully flipped her twin tails. Chapter 520, Fight for an Unknown Reason. Du An Wan and the others looked at them confusedly. What were they doing? You, you always bullied me before because you were at a higher level than me. I'm now going to take revenge. Yun Meng stuck her tongue out toward Kulilai. 
that was because you did bad things. Can't people punish you for doing bad things? You're at my level now, but don't you think that you can win against me? Bring it on. Kulilai snorted proudly. I will. I've been tolerating you for too long. Yun Meng made a step backward and slightly bent her knees, then rushed straight at Kulilai. In the eyes of the others, she turned into a shred of shadow. Kulilai didn't dodge, but took two quick steps backward and then gave Yun Meng a turning kick. For some unknown reason, they had started a battle. By the time Duan Wan and the others realized what was happening, they had both launched a few attacks. Soon, they noticed that both Kulilai and Yun Meng were only fighting with physical moves and neither of them released their superpowers, so, they figured that they wouldn't make this a serious fight. However, they were both so fast that those human beings could barely catch them with their eyes. Yun Meng had learned martial arts, but Kulilai hadn't. After a few rounds, Kulilai started falling in disadvantage. When Kulilai launched another turning kick, Yun Meng suddenly squatted, both hands beside her left foot. Meanwhile, she swiftly reached out her right leg, swinging at Kulilai's leg which was supporting her body at that moment. Kulilai had no other choice but to put down her leg which was raised in the air, then jump up. But at that very moment, Yun Meng had changed her posture. She supported her body with both arms to spring up with her feet in the air. As her feet landed on the ground, she thrust them against the earth and lunged toward Kulilai while wielding her fist. Kulilai was already in the air. When Yun Meng darted at her, she had no spare strength to defend against the latter's attack. The only thing she could do was to turn her body in the air and dodge Yun Meng's attack. Neither of them used their superpowers, because of which, Yun Meng was at an advantage. Her martial art skills and agility were her advantages. Kulilai relied on her instinctive reaction capacity to fight Yun Meng. They both were level 7 zombies, so their body conditions were at the same level. However, there were differences between their fighting skills. So now, Yun Meng was chasing Kulilai around, and the latter was defenseless. Eh? What are those two doing? Lin Qiao returned to find the two of them in fighting an intense battle. She couldn't help but squat on the roof of the cow which was parked by Duan Wan's side and ask her that question. Once her voice was heard, the others all turned to her. We don't know. They suddenly began fighting. And they asked us to bear witness. Kian Xiao I answered the question the first, yeah? Duan Wan and the others nodded together. They didn't understand the zombie world. Thud, boom. The noises caused by Kulilai and Yun Meng could be heard everywhere. They were only fighting hand to hand, but those sounds were scary enough. As they were fighting, the group of zombies around them had all quietly moved backward. Only the zombie number three helplessly stayed by their side. Without the boss's order, he didn't dare to leave. Thud. Right at that moment. Kulilai reacted slightly slowly. As a result, Yun Meng's foot sank into her belly and sent her flying toward Lin Qiao and the others. However, she nimbly turned her body in the air and instinctively landed on all fours on the ground. Her feet and claws left clear scratches on the ground. She stood up and found her hands covered in sand and dust, while her hair had fallen over her shoulder. She was instantly infuriated. Ah, you ruined my hair. I'll kill you. Giving the draw? She raised a hand and released a crazy gust of wind. Whoa, what about our agreement to not use superpowers? Seeing the sharp wind, Yun Meng immediately made a lunge position, bending her knees to keep herself from being blown away. Bullshit, you have green and animal power. Your superpower is constantly effective, Kulilai roared at her with discontentment. Then I'm gonna forget about the rules. We're going to play a big one, aren't we? Hearing that. Yun Meng was unhappy too. Next, her green eyes sparkled, and metallic scales emerged on her face. Afterward, her fingers started crooking and her nails grew longer. Her arms were covered in scales too, and a few sharp thorns grew out of her elbows. Oi, fight somewhere else. Don't block the way. We need to go through here. At that moment, Lin Qiao shouted out. Kulilai and Yun Meng both paused for a second then turned to her simultaneously. Eh? You're back. Kulilai looked at her with surprise. I have already been back for a minute, said Lin Qiao. Ah, since you're back, our game should end now. Yun Meng dropped both hands. Meanwhile, the scales on her skin and the thorns on her arms both disappeared. All right, all right, 
move away. Lin Kiao released her vibe and yelled at the surrounding zombie crowd. In the next moment, Du An Wan, Kian Xioi, Li Hongxing and the others saw those zombies run toward both sides ridiculously quickly. All right. Bring the troop in. Lin Giao then turned and said to Duan Wan. While speaking, she jumped off the car roof and sat into the front seat. Kulilai brushed her long hair with her fingers. Her ponytails had loosened, so she conveniently gathered her hair together and tied them into a knot behind her neck. She then flashed onto the roof of Lin Giao's off-road car standing there motionlessly. Meanwhile, Du An Wan sat into the driver's seat and started the car, driving it ahead. Yun Meng stood aside at first, and when Lin Kiao's car approached, she leapt forward and hopped onto the car roof. The people in the car raised their heads and glanced at the roof together. Those two zombies were fighting in a couple of minutes ago, and now, they were standing up there together. Would they start fighting again? Fortunately, that didn't happen. Kulilai gave a snort then turned and showed her back to Yun Meng while the latter squatted on the car roof. She turned to Kulilai and silently stuck her tongue out toward her, then made a face. After that, they stopped communicating. The car was soon driven into the hotel area. A. Eh? Hearing the noises of the motorcade, the people in the hotel all came out to see what was happening. Miss Lu is back. She brought so many people back. The people who were on patrol figured out that it was Lin Kiao coming back as they saw Kulilai standing on the roof of the first car. While discussing how to deal with Lei Cheng and his people, Lin Feng and the others heard something shouting, Miss, Lu is back. All three of them immediately smiled in a delighted surprise. They thought that she wouldn't be back so soon, but to their surprise, she was already back. 